This was the elder Su's greatest regret in his life. He proposed that, as left-home pupil, we should study the Suragama Sutra to the point that we can recite it by memory from the beginning to the end and from the end to the beginning, forwards and backwards. That was his proposal. I know that throughout his whole life, the elder Su regarded the Suragama Sutra as being especially important. When someone informed the elder Su that there were people who said the Suragama Sutra was false, he explained that the decline of the drama occurs just because these people try to pass fish eyes off as pawns, confusing people so that they cannot distinguish right from wrong. They make people blind so that they can no longer recognize the Buddha drama. They take the truth as false and the false as true. Look at this pupil. This one writes a book and people all read it. That one writes a book and they read it too. The real sutras spoken by the Buddha himself are put up on the shelf where no one ever reads them. From this we can see that living beings comic obstacles are very heavy. If they hear Devon knowledge and Devon views, they readily believe them. If you speak Dharma based on proper knowledge and proper views, they won't believe it. Speak it again and they still won't believe it. Why? Because they don't have sufficient good rules and foundations. That's why they have doubts about the proper Dharma. They are skeptical and unwilling to believe. Here at the city of 10,000 Buddhas, we will be setting up the Suragama platform. So it will be ideal if some of you bring forth the resolve to read the Suragama Sutra every day for one or two hours. You can study it daily just as if you were studying in school and memorize it so that you can recite it by heart. If you can recite the Suragama Sutra, the Dharma Flower Sutra, and even the Avatamsaka Sutra from memory, that will be the very best. If someone is able to recite the Suragama Sutra, the Dharma Flower Sutra, and the Avatamsaka Sutra from memory, it will mean that this is still a time when the proper Dharma exists in the world. Therefore, in such a wonderful place as the city of 10,000 Buddhas, everyone should bring forth a great body resolve to do these things. It's not that we are competing with others. We should be outstanding, rise above the crowd, and do these things. In the past, I had a wish. I wanted to be able to recite the Dharma Flower Sutra and the Suragama Sutra from memory in Hong Kong. I have a disciple who can recite the Suragama Sutra from memory. I taught him to study the Dharma Flower Sutra, but in the end, he probably didn't finish memorizing it, which is very regret regrettable. It's such a fine place as we have here. Each of you should bring forth a great resolve to study the Buddhist sutras and precepts. The Suragama Sutra, the Dharma Flower Sutra, the Vinaya in four divisions, and the Brahmanet Sutra until you can recite them from memory. That would be the best, for then the proper Dharma will surely remain here for a long time. Sutra When the Buddha finished speaking the Sutra, the Bishu, Bishunis, Upasakas, Upasikas, and uh, all the gods, humans, and asuras in this world, as well as uh, all the bodhisattvas, those of the two vehicles, sages, immortals, and pure youths in other directions, and uh, the mighty ghosts and spirits of initial resolve, all felt uh, elated, made obeisance, uh, and withdrew. Commentary When the Buddha finished speaking the sutra, all the great bishops, all the Vishunis, Upasakasa, a Sanskrit word that means men who serve closely, that is, laymen who draw near to and serve the Buddha, Upasikas, women who serve closely, and all the gods, humans, and asuras in this world. By now, you all know what asuras are. They have the biggest tempers and they love to fight. One of my disciples says his dog is an asura. Well, maybe he himself is an Asura as well. But I believe that after you have, you all have heard the Suragama Sutra, 
you will become bodhisattvas and no longer have the temple of Asuras, as well as all the bodhisattvas of other lands, those of the two vehicles and the south heroes and those enlightened by conditions, sages, immortals, and pure youths, who enter the path of cultivation in their youthful innocence in other directions, and the mighty ghosts and spirits of initial resolve or felt elated, made obeisance and withdrew. Now that we have finished hearing this sutra, no matter what kind of beings we are, whether we are gods, humans, asuras, hell beings, hungry ghosts, or animals, we must bring forth the body resolve. We must all practice the bodhisattva path. We must all be bodhisattvas. Do not continue to create the causes for becoming other kinds of beings. We must create the causes for becoming Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. And we must realize the fruitions of Bodhisattvahood and Buddhahood. Shakyamuni Buddha made predictions for us and for all living beings long ago. It is said, People who recite Namo Buddha just once will all accomplish Buddhahood, not to mention reciting it many times. If we simply say Namo Buddha once, in the future we will definitely become Buddhas, although we do not know when. By listening to the Suragama Sutra, we have come to understand a lot of Buddha drama. There is inconceivable merit and virtue in this. That's why it was said that the merit and virtue of filling the space of the ten directions with the seven precious things and making offering of them to the Buddhas is not as great as that of explaining the Suragama Sutra. Now that we have finished explaining the Suragama Sutra, your suffering has come to an end, and my toy has also ended. Why? Because we don't have to work so hard. In the future, when you practice the Bodhisattva path, there, are, there may be more suffering, but you will endure it willingly. It will not be forced upon you by others. You yourself are willing to accept those troubles. Therefore, we should make the Bodhisattva resolve and practice the Bodhisattva path. I hope that everyone who has heard the Suragama Sutra lectured will make a Bodhisattva resolve. I say it again. No matter whether you are a god, a human being, an asura, a hell being, a hungry ghost, or an animal, you must all resolve to become enlightened. Don't be confused anymore. One who is enlightened is a Buddha, and one who is confused is a living being. Now we all hope to become enlightened a little sooner.